My name is uh, Stephen Kilagi. I was born here in Port Mosby. My parents are uh, Lady Kilagi and Signes Kilagi. My father was a public servant most of his career. He started a uh, first public service commissioner and then later on he was appointed the first ombudsman commissioner of Papua New Guinea. He served honorably and he died in office. At the biggest post the public service could have was uh, the Governor General, who was 1988. Uh, I myself, uh, I was educated in the United States uh, Military Academy. I was fortunate enough to be sent there. I was brought up in a strict kind of discipline um, lifestyle, kind of portrayed through my life. I think the Military Academy kind of really helped me uh, for my life to see who I am now. When I was 25 years old, uh, I actually started a, um, a gold buying business. So I was in, in places like Bulolawau, uh, Miss Boot, uh, in a place called Mount Kindy, and I was basically digging gold and uh, doing alluvial mining. And then I've gotten my other business, which is a security company called Corporate Exeter Regards, and my new venture, Red Rock Bar, uh, which I'm still working on. I was married in 2009 to my better half, uh, Natasha, uh, Mrs. Natasha Kilagi, and I've got two daughters, Anisha and Fanoa. The reason why I'm going for this 2017 elections is only one reason, lack of housing in this country. The reason why I was so successful in life is when my father passed away, my, he left us a title, a home and a title in Barocco. And that's the reason why I was, I was able to leave my family here, go to Bololo, I'll start my business because I had a, a family foundation. Without that foundation, having a home, a secure home with title, where I don't have to be worried about security, I don't have to worry about if they're going to be evicted the next day. Living in fear is the worst kind of uh, living possible. So having that home kind of helped me build up my business in Bololo. I also came up, I actually started the security company out of my basement at, uh, in Barocco, in, my, in the home. So um, having a house was very crucial and instrumental in my life and having that title. The re that's the reason why I'm standing because a lot of corruption out there. Uh, there's a crisis right now and people are getting evicted on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. And if we don't do something in the next five years, where are we going to put all these people? As you can see, so Gary is up there, and that's where the settlements are heading up. And um, it's quite sad that we are evicting our own citizens, evicting them on the street, evicting them like animals. I've talked to a lot of, many mothers groups, from ATS to Nine Mile to Calgary. There's a new area called Buswara, Apwara. I'll say the same thing. Behind Eight Mile, uh, Wildlife. The same topic is they're getting evicted, and where will they go? This is um, our country, uh, our forefathers, my father. St. Michael Samare, all our leaders and our forefathers fought so Papua New Guineans can come to Port Mosby and have an equal opportunity. We want to leave our villages, wherever village you come from, from Goroka, Hagen, Chimbu, Mendi, Tari. Uh, we come to Port Mosby to, for a better life, better, better education for our kids, universities, bigger hospitals. That's our right. Uh, no one's got the right to tell any ethnic group to go back to their village because this is our capital city and we all belong here. That is why I want to go, just to make sure that my policy is one family, one home. what we want to achieve, one family, one home. We do have a plan. There's a lot of state land out there. A lot of state land and a lot of uh, ILG land. We will work with the state and the land department, plus we will work with ILG landowners. What we want to do is subdivide land, give titles to each family. When I'm talking about subdivision, I'm talking about proper roads, uh, septic, sewage, water, and power facilities. So we give Papua New Guineans an option to get buy those tiles for 20,000. And I'm talking about the low income owners. So let them have the opportunity to buy a title. Title is the most important thing in a person's life. If you can secure a title, you can go and access the facilities that the O'Neill government has put in place, which is the BSP facility. You can get the title, mortgage your, mortgage your title and get a home built. Now what we've done is we've got four display homes. And those four display homes range from 60,000 to 100,000 to 120,000. So based on your budget, you go in with your title and then you choose the house you want. And that's what we want to do. We want to roll out this program the first five years we get in there, putting Papua New Guineans in homes. Um, we subsidize free education. We subsidize a lot of things. As governor, we will divert our money and put a lot of it into um, public housing.